that's called a birch bolete. And they usually grow under birch trees, but I suppose we would call this whole group of bolets birch bolets, and some of them grow under different trees. I think we might leave it where it is at the moment. Um, no, no, Fen, leave it alone. This one is slightly different. First of all, uh, we are amongst baby birches all over the place, um, but we're not under a mature birch tree. And this one differs from the usual brown birch bolete, the Kynum scabrum, by not having deep ridges and dark grey little dots, scales all over it. Scabers, in fact. Um, so this is obviously a close relative. The, the uh, birch bolets are very difficult to tell apart, except where uh, they are associated with a particular tree, and they oh, that that helps you um, decide which one it is. While I'm lying here, I'm getting covered in red ants. Well, that's probably better than wood ants because the wood ants are much bigger, feistier. So if we were going to eat something like this, because a lot of people mistake these for penny buns and call them penny buns. They've got that nice round cap like a penny bun, but actually uh, you can only eat the cap of a birch bolet, and um, it's not that great. It's nowhere near as wonderful as a sep, for example, the true penny bun. Yeah, something. There's something. There's something flying on you. I know there's all kinds.